What is going on, Dan? I'm further checking out Batushka, Yectinia Part Three. This comes from Peter. Appreciate your homie. If you guys have any requests, as always, just hit me up. All right. Part One. Very unique styled. Like, yes, it was like we know death metal, satanic metal. Cool, we've heard that before. But this style of vocal was unique. Uh, I hope it, I hope it's similar. I, I hope this is a thing, like a normal thing for them. Part one started similar. Mm. I don't trust it. It's about to get dark in here. Quick. as they keep using in their songs that church choir-esque, even though this is the, a deeper vocal one than the than the part one had, as long as they keep using that, it will set them apart from other similar styles. Of There's just something inherently just evil sounding about it. It probably isn't here. It's supposed to be, but in its origins, it wasn't. I don't think it was supposed to be in that kind of vocal. Like it's it's like the movie's eyes wide shut. It's like you 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 picture the Illuminati. You picture like hooded, masked up people all in a circle. Crazy, crazy shit. And there's no way, <laughs> there's no way whoever invented that, like started singing like that first in a church, expected it to kind of go that way. But it did. sure what they're doing for that part but it's like every other bar they they do something to the guitar riff or at the same time as the guitar riff 
It's like an added deep bass. Right there. I like these guys. They're out of the box, man. They're 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 a strange one. Cause you just don't hear that type of vocal. I mean, the Lord of Shore, the, the Gremlin esque, harsh vocal. You do hear that. I won't say it's common, but you do hear it. Multiple bands do it, but the to combine that with that. Again, I don't know what to call it. That that monkish, priest-styled, old-school, Catholic-sounding vocal over top of it just really chills chills you to the core. <laughs> in, in the best way. That's what this style of music is kind of supposed to give you. You know what I mean? It's supposed to give you that kind of like blood, an uneasy feeling. It's supposed to. It's part of the fun. It's like watching a, a scary movie. You're supposed to have moments where it's like, oh, shit. This gives you an oh shit feeling, especially the first time hearing it. It's like, should I light some candles? You know what I'm saying? But whoever came up with that, like whatever monk or druid or priest back in the day came up with that style of singing when they're walking around Italy in their church, probably thought of it as like a, a welcoming sound of like, hey, welcome to the church of God, whatever. They have weaponized it. They've, they've, they noticed it. It is a spooky sound. <laughs> We're going to use it. It really makes a satanic band feel more realistic, more authentic. It it brings a hell of a lot of authenticity having that sound in there. I'm surprised there's no more there's not like more choir being used or like maybe some strings or an organ, a tubular bell. Like if we're going to go this route, let's go all the fucking way. Let's go all the way. Let me know what you guys think down below. Batushka, if you are still here. Perfect name for a band like this, too. Father, priest, padre, whatever you want to call it. Batushka. Perfect.